guys, it's Natasha. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great and wonderful day, period. For today's video, we're cleaning out our closet. So we're making sure all the clothes that I have in there, I am wearing, making sure that I know what's in my closet because I have no idea what's in there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So let's go. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Awkward angle, no, but I wanted to show you my closet. At the same time, my bed underneath it has storage and I have a lot of clothes in there. I do not know everything that I own. I just have way too many clothes. I admit, I admit, and I don't even wear half of it. So I'm gonna go through it, take the things out that I don't need and so on. So let's go. Okay, so I just wanted to explain real fast why I'm doing this. I need to find my style. I love clothing and I really like fashion, but I always feel like I don't have like a defined style. Some girls you can like see, oh like she's like edgy, she's like preppy. I'm like, what is Natasha? I have a lot of things for a lot of different styles and I just like wanna like, you know, I'm growing up, I'm gonna be 20 this. <clears throat> So I'm not saying that I'm old, but it's just crazy that I'm gonna be 20 this year, you know. I wanna find a cohesive style. I know what I want, so I'm gonna go through my clothing today. That is step one, finding Natasha's new style. And I'm going to keep everything that can still help me achieve that style, and then I'm gonna put away everything that I'm not gonna use. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're gonna start down here with the drawers, drawer number one, drawer number two, and then we're gonna go ahead into the closet. I know the style that I'm going for. I want that neutral tone, white, beige, gray, classy, you know, like looking expensive but didn't spend too much style. I'll put pictures up on the screen so you guys know what that looks like. This is my tops that I have here. And as you can see, there's lots of color. Most of these are like sleeping shirts, so I won't be throwing out things like my sleeping shirts because I don't need to have a sleeping style. This is just like street clothes or whatever. And so I'm gonna first take out all those because I have a lot of shirts. Okay, so now time to go through these things. I love wearing white. The problem that I have with wearing white, I get deodorant stains. So if you know any like fashion tricks, prevent white clothing from like getting deodorant stains, please save my life because I love wearing white clothing. Like this is one of my favorite shirts that I have from Zara. Okay, so this is where the sorting comes in, you know? This dress, you know, it's thick. I live in two hot provinces. Whoa, the, can can the Canada in me is about to set provinces. No, in two hot states. I live between California and Hawaii. So I cannot wear this like ever, period. Once upon a time, not long ago, I was, I wore this, but now I can't wear this. So this is going to the side that I'm no longer keeping. Not the vibe. Why do I still have this? So, sorry. No. Oh, I, what was I thinking when I bought this? Phase, no. Nope, no. I don't, nope, no, no. I'll use that as a sleeping shirt. My question is, when I do this new whole style vibe, do I do the neutrals like the beige, whites, grays, black, and then my favorite color, which is like blue? Or do I just keep it, no, I feel like that ruins the vibe, the blue. So I'm like, do I, th I really like, this is a maybe, this is a, I, I'm indecided. Mm, maybe. White top, yep. Gray dress, gray turtleneck, yes. No. I just bought this top, I can't throw this out. Can you see why this is hard for me? I have emotional attachment to clothes. This is why I have so many clothes and I don't know why I never wear it because it's so many clothes in my closet, but I never wear it, but I always want to keep it because I don't want to throw it out because I have emotional attachment to clothing. I'm keeping that, keeping that, this, okay, uh, maybe. I'm gonna pour everything back in that I'm going to keep and then I'm gonna organize everything later just so to make this process go faster, okay? Okay, so, so far this I'm not keeping. This I am, all my blacks, grays, and whites, and beige. That is like things I have an emotional attachment to that are new, that I still like, but it's not the style that I'm going for, but I still might keep it because, ah, uh, and that is maybe. Okay, now we're at step two, which is my pant drawer, and then step three would be my closet. This is 2.1 actually, because phase one of step two is making sure to pick all my pants, and then after that, I need to make sure if they still fit because the boot has been growing. She has been expanding. So some pants don't fit no more. I get a lot of questions about these joggers and also my black Puma ones. They're mostly from the men's section, so I make sure that I get either like the smallest size or make sure that it has a drawstring so that I can adjust the waist. And then for length, if it's too long, I'll cuff it at the bottom, but this just fits just right. So love these. This is staying, staying, 
Oh, also, other favorite pant brand from Costco, the Jessica Simpson line for jeans at Costco. Best pants ever, period. Period. They're inexpensive. They are stretchy. What more can you ask for? And they're great quality, period. Try them out, you'll love it. <laughs> I once owned these pants. These are like clown pants. I remember when I wore this at school, thought it was so cool. These pleather black pants. I don't know if these fit anymore. These are not it. Uh, I like these pants, that's sad. Oh, also the dynamite pants. So comfortable. These are more expensive. These are on like 50 bucks a piece, I think. But I've had these for like five years now. Amazing. And they're stretchy. This I keep. Okay, I have sifted through my pants. I just have like blue jeans, white, black, and any of the colored stuff up here in the no-no pile. Okay, so I finished both my drawers. Now we're going to phase three. Behind me, my closet. I don't have a lot of things in here because most of my clothes is in Hawaii, but I do want to get rid of the things that I'm not using here because it's just taking up space and I'm not using it anymore. So let's go. Okay, so this is side one of my closet. I just have a bunch of random stuff up there. I only have one rack of clothes here and then my shoes at the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and tackle this up here. So I'm gonna take things out, put the things that I'm not gonna wear on my bed and keep the things that I'm gonna wear in my closet. I know this is gray, but I have not worn this in years, so <laughs> bye bye I remember when the whole tie-up thing was a trend and everyone wanted to get shirts like that. I don't wear that anymore. Do you see the hesitation? Did you see that? I'm hesitating, because I love my clothing. But I have not worn this. I really like this though. It's knitted. I can't wear this on campus. Can I wear this here? No, it's too hot. Oh, bye. I have never worn this. It still has the tag on it. Don't think I ever wore this. It's so good quality. I'm gonna donate this. This is like, this is new. This has a tag, bro. Someone's gonna like this. Oh, this brings memories. I have stories for everything. I wore this on my senior year dance production. I was one of the leads and this is one of the things that I wore on stage. That was a really good one. We did Glee and I was the lead warbler. The, I don't. I didn't watch Glee, so I don't know if that has any significance, but it's like there's the two dancing teams. My team was against another team and I was like the person singing the song. What was the song? I wanna put on my, 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 my boogie shoes. Woo, it's looking at you. Ooh, yeah. I wanna put on my, 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 my boogie. That was my song. I'm not a singer, so if that hurt your ears, sorry. Like, I knew I was bad. Like, I didn't warn you. My mistake. Nope, have not worn this in years. I don't even like pink. Where did I buy that? Don't wear this. Roots. Canada represent. So I'm also realizing that a lot of the things that I'm throwing out are sweaters and jackets because I once lived in Canada. Two years ago, I lived in Canada. Lived there most of my life, you guys didn't know. But, um, I don't, do we, do I throw them out? Nope. This is the after. Pretty neutral. Still a lot of blue in here. I just love the color blue. I think I'm gonna keep it in my wardrobe. Okay, last side. My quinceanera dress. So it's been almost five years this year will be since my quinceanera. Should I do a video of me trying on my dress five years later? If it fits, that'd be cool. Okay, I'm gonna finish up this side and show you guys my progress. So most of the color stuff that's hung up behind me are like sweaters and stuff that I wear around the house. So I'm not gonna throw those out because I need stuff to wear around the house. I mostly care about my fashion and going out on the streets. So all those clothes are organized. Okay, so that is all for my clothes decluttering for today. We have done a lot of work. I still have a lot of work to do with putting the stuff away, making sure that everything goes in the right bag for if I'm donating organizing, throwing away, you know, all that fun stuff. I recommend for you to do this because sometimes we forget the things that we have in our closet and sometimes our closet just needs a little bit of a rejuvenation, reju reju rejuvenation, rejuvenation, there you go. Wow, English is difficult. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below on any video you guys want to see next. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and my Instagram, follow me on my TikTok at Natasha Mathurin. We have fun over there. You won't be disappointed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.